I'm Patrick Ahern. This is my wife, Trish Ahern. And um, we can say we were there at the creation, actually. Uh, we lived in Chile. Uh, very good friends with uh, Joe Eldridge. And um, we were there w uh, for the coup, unfortunately. And um, we're in very close touch with, uh, with Joe. Um, part of helping people to get out of Chile that had to get out of Chile. And um, we lasted about two months and, and came to Washington. And that's where um, we actually met a guy by the name of Phil Wheaton who was putting together a community house on Lamont Street. And so we ended up being, if you will, eight uh, Chilean exiles all North American, but uh, who ended up in that house. And um, so when Joe started, uh, well, along with other people, when he started WOLA, um, we were there uh, supporting him. And I think Trish. We were part of WOLA in the sense that <clears throat> at that time, as we all left Chile, we came back to Washington and were like, what do we do? Many of our friends had been exiled from Chile that were living, Panamanians, Bolivians, Argentinians, who were living in exile in Chile at the time of the coup. And we were back in Washington feeling a little bit like, now what do we do? What can we do to help? And so one of the things that did happen that was a precursor of, Woy of, Woy of WOLA, and right at that time, was that the uh, National Council of Churches, Bill Whiffler in particular, said you all need to work with the issue of what's happening with all of these people who have been put out of, uh, had to leave Chile in exile. And so a Chile refugee and political prisoner committee was formed, which I was part of in those early months trying to figure out what we could do in solidarity with, with what was happening in Chile. From then on, it grew into, um, the, as Patrick said, the, the house on Lamont Street. And then we really learned a lot about what was really going on throughout Latin America and got involved in something called COFLA, Common Front for Latin America, the Latin American Working Group, EPICA, a series of organizations that at that time began to mobilize because of the Chilean coup. That really was the catalyst for the beginnings of human rights work and of solidarity work in the Washington, D.C. area. So we were very much a part of that right from the beginning. And Joe was our housemate. I worked with the Methodist International Affairs Seminar Program. And Joe and I traveled to, to the Capitol Hill every day for, for years, during those early years, post the coup. And really, that was the beginning of Ola. That was the start, and that was the beauty of many people coming together to work together on what then evolved over time after Chile into the work of Central America. So it was a very formative time for all of us. Chile was life-changing for us personally, but then also, um, created a platform for us to do human rights work from then on. Yeah, we, um, the La Monstre, so-called Chile House, the La Mont Street House is uh, right over here in Mount Pleasant. And um, we, along with Joe, actually had something last Monday, uh, September 11th, at the uh, Mount Pleasant Library. And um, Ambassador Juan Gabriel Valdez came, but there were about 75 people on a Monday afternoon, all of whom in that neighborhood had been involved with Chile Sol Solidarity. 50 years ago. And some were, you know, young, and they were painting murals uh, throughout the city, especially on 18th and Columbia Road. And um, it was really gratifying just to see 50 years later that these people are still here. Some of the younger folks are now very accomplished uh, folk singers, uh, Salvadorians, and 
And of course, Chileans, they talked a lot about how the Chile infusion of uh, refugees, political prisoners, really changed, in a sense, the, the culture of the Latino community here in this neighborhood. So, and as Trish said, <coughs> this, as did Wola, sort of was a segue into Central America work with um, Guatemala, El Salvador, uh, the Nicaraguan uh, Revolution. So, you know, I think we actually um, transformed ourselves, of course, along with WOLA, into uh, human rights uh, work throughout Central America.